be about like the whole Easter pagan holiday, Christmas pagan holiday stuff. The whole like, oh, uh, Christianity modeled itself after Mithras or Christianity modeled itself after these pagan culture, cultures and customs is not true. What really was happening, if you study history, you see that in the first and the second century, the church was so prevalent and so dominant, even during persecution. They were baptizing so many people. They were praying through so many people. They were teaching Bible studies to so many people. They were uh, witnessing and helping out so many homeless people. They were taking in so many throwing away babies that they were growing exponentially to the point where the rest of the world was like, yo, if we don't duplicate what the church is doing, we are going to die out. So this actually gets switched up to model themselves after the church. That's why we see similarities of Jesus and other cultures. Not because the Christian church was borrowing from those cultures or because in the New Testament, but because those cultures were so desperately trying to keep their followers that they started duplicating what the church was doing. This means that creativity, that culture, that change, that equality was permeating out of the church into the rest of the world via the doctrine of Jesus Christ and via, via the lifestyles of the people that were preaching the gospel. What would it look like if the church was so dominant in our expression of the gospel, the actual gospel, that the world stopped and said, yo, we have to, instead of us replicating the world's artists, the world said, yo, we got to replicate what the church is doing. That is is what it means when it says they turn their world upside down.